Mrs. Pablo Pulu, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it is truly a special honor for me to be with you today. I would like to thank the Democracy and Culture Foundation, the New York Times, and the President of Athens Democracy Forum, Mr. Achilles Charter, Charter for their kind invitation. Especially this year, the topics of Athens Democracy Forum make us all rethink the ways that humanity moves forward, focusing on current and future challenges, and placing democracy and culture the core of a viable world. Greece has always been a country that declared the principles of peace, solidarity, and freedom, and defended human rights values that are cornerstones of viability and progress. Being on, at the crossroad of East and West, it was always been a land of dialogue among civilizations where the noblest ideals were emerged and became our compass for the ancient times until today. Athens, the birthplace of democracy, remains a city that spreads the light of culture and, human, and humanism worldwide. As a good good ambassador of UNESCO, I have two main priorities, education and cultural heritage. Education is our window to the future, and cultural heritage is humanity's identity and self-consciousness. Therefore, they are vital in our efforts and must be always considered basic aspects on every policy. However, they are both affected by serious issues that we have to cope with in order to reach the United Nations goals to, for 2030. Humanity has to take brave steps to protect our planet, our culture, our future. It is the right moment for all people to raise their voice and recall the noblest of ideals and our, uh, that are fundamental for humanity's achievements. In this uh, countdown, until, until 2030, Greece will have a unique opportunity to remind how the ecumenical ideals of peace, freedom, and democracy became the flag of heroic uh, struggles that changed our world. This opportunity came to 2020, an anniversary year when we will celebrate the birth of the Western civilization on the occasion of 2,500 years from the Battle of Thermopylae and the Battle of Salamis against the Persian Empire. Two epic moments of Greece and of Europe that became landmarks in the history of the West world. In his book, The Crown of European Culture, talking about the identity of Western civilizations, his Excellency, the President of the Hellenic Republic, Mr. Procopius Pavlopoulos, recalls the Persians of Aeschylus noting the birthday of the West. It is the scene while Xerxes' mother, Queen Atosam, asks Horus, the respectable elders of the Persian palace, in what part of the world do people say the city of Athens is located? And the chorus leader replies, far away from here, where our Lord, the sun, grows dim and sets. I would also like to quote the British historian and journalist Dominic Selwood in his article in 2016. If the West had a birthday, it would probably be the 22nd of September, 480 BC, the date of the Battle of Salamis. As a direct result, Athenian culture was able to thrive and quickly entered a golden age of democracy, philosophy, art, and drama, laying the foundations of the modern West. 2020 will be a year of significant cultural and educational activities, and I'm feeling deeply touched as I am sharing it with you here at the Athens Democracy Forum. And I truly hope that on this occasion, next year, the Athens Democracy Forum will be our ally and share with us the ecumenical messages emerged from the, for this special anniversary, because the anniversary, the, this anniversary is international. Uh, and I invite you all to follow us in this great effort, to join us in spreading the messages of freedom, peace and democracy everywhere. Thank you very much.